Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you one of my favorite songs in the world and this is a song by the great Antonius Carlos Jobim. He's a composer, writer, musician, you name it. The song is called How Insensitive. The song is actually built on a Chopin prelude, prelude number four, which is also has this chromatic, beautiful, beautiful harmony. Now, what I'm gonna do today is show you two levels of this chord melody. One is a little bit more simple with less things happening, and the second one would have a little more motion and a few more devices. Let's do it. Just a note before we start, I'm gonna play it one time through, kind of slowly and carefully, and then I'll break it down into sections, and then I'll play it even one more time, slower, so you can follow and play it with me. The same thing I'll do with the second level, the second option. Here we go. PG tips, yeah. All right, so let's check exactly what I'm doing here. So I start with D minor first inversion, so just playing D minor over F, nothing crazy, and I get the melody on top, this is why I did that, and then I'm continuing playing the melody, then I'm playing this shape. You can grab it with the melody or not, both are fine, it's a little stretchy, so I get it. Continuing with the melody, and I'm playing this voice in here. So this is, for me, this is kind of C minor four, but with a six on top, so it's kind of C minor four, six, if you'd like to think about it that way. I'm kind of thinking about the melody, so I really think about C minor and that note of the melody. Check it out from the top, so. The shape, a stretch. And then just melody. And here I'm playing G major first inversion. Just a triad, this is a three, this is G, this is a five, this is D, and the melody on top. So again, the first couple of bars, melody, shape, the C minor, six kinda, melody. Then the second section of the song, or just the continuation, I'm playing B flat, the melody stays here, on this G, and I'm just playing a shell chord, B flat major seven. Really kind of trying to distinguish between the melody and the chords, almost kind of like piano, like piano, like piano, like. So basically, the melody and trying to have a little different balance. So the, the notes here, this chord is more supportive. It's just kind of like a comping. So it's not like it's more like. Same thing here, so I'm playing the melody, same melody, but then again, the melody note is G, but then the chord is E flat, so from the top till here, play it with me, C minor 6, melody, G first inversion, And then we're going to play the E half diminished. I'm just gonna play the kind of usual suspect. So just this shape, because I get the melody as well. And then just melody. And I played just a tenth here, so basically one and three. And again, the same thing for the D flat. Now, I didn't even play a seven chord there. All right, and then what's happening with C minor, I'm playing C minor four, or C minor sus four, if you will just to grab the melody note on top. I'm trying to be super aware of the melody versus the chords and how they function really one against the other and also of the lyrics. So this is a really sad song. 
I think it's sad. So check out the lyrics and check out some vocal version. For me, that's really helpful. All right, let's go back to the melody. So we're playing this C minor sus four to basically B diminished, but I'm playing it over D. You can kind of slide that shape because diminished chords are all symmetrical, so it's kind of fun. And continuing the melody, and then grabbing that major seven, that B flat major seven here. This voicing is the same as the shell chord here, just an octave above, one, three, and seven. And then the melody. Just simply playing the melody. Then I play this D minor seven, um, four, and I think I play this little A minor to D flat for a second. Just instead of just the D flat seven, you can always add the two if we have a five, so that's kind of what I did. And keeping the melody on top, and then melody stays here. Sus4 Just melody And I play this D minor here, very sad Let's play it one more time All together, but even slower than that So I really really slow down and I'll talk it through as we go D minor, first inversion Melody Shape C minor, melody, G over B, B flat major 7 to E flat, E, melody, just tense, the C minor sus, diminish, It's a beautiful song. I, I love that song. I think it's really, really deep. And there's a beautiful version of Antonio Carlos Rubin playing it with Pat Metheny at Carnegie Hall, just piano, voice, and guitar. They're actually playing it in the key of B minor, uh, which to me is even sadder and darker. So it's really, really beautiful. Check it out. All right, are you ready for level two? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Why, why not? We're playing guitar. We like it. Let's do level two. Here we go. So here again, I'm gonna play it one time up front and then I'll kind of break it down and then everybody's happy. So let's see exactly what I did. So the beginning was pretty much the same. I kind of like these voicings now, so I didn't want to change it. I especially like this one. Just kept that, just melody. Same thing, but now, right? So now I had like this idea of just having the left hand of the piano in a way, kind of call and response. So instead of just playing the chord with the melody, I did, so I'm just keeping the melody on top and playing B flat, major seven. And then it's the same kind of idea, only on E flat, and I play this kind of line from B flat. Just kind of playing around the triad of E flat so we can hear the center. So again, from the G major. Here I play. 
played this D minor 7, 9, and then I played... I think this is what I did, I hope so. I played like this little A flat minor 9, and if I didn't, you can. You can also add this chord if you want, but you don't have to. And then D minor sus 4. And then here what I did, I kept the melody here, this is a little more challenging maybe, and I kind of stretched it, because the chord is basically this diminished sound, so I was like, ah, how about I just keep the melody there, and, and articulate the same idea of the left hand that I had here, I'm just kind of thinking about that. So the idea of this uh, emancipation of the left hand, right, of kind of trying to hear these two lines almost, so we hear the melody and then against that something. It doesn't have to be that if you don't like it. You can do something else, you can just do anything would go, just as long as you have this rhythmic idea that is contrasting the static melody line. That's kind of how I think about it. And then the melody continues, so from here, the diminish, play that the same thing. Same thing. I think I did the same thing actually with the A flat minor here. So nothing crazy. And then the end, the same thing, C minor, sus4. The same thing. Maybe I slow down a little bit. Just melody. And then I played E half diminished. And then I played this A7 flat 9 here. And I think I went to this. D minor 6, 9. So this is D minor 6, and the open string is giving us the 9. Beautiful. It's kind of an important note. The reason I'm adding the 6 here on the D minor is because you can't really add the 7, because the 7 is gonna sound like we're going somewhere. Whereas the 6, or the major 7, although it's intense, gives us the feeling of home base. So in that sense, Adding the 6 makes me feel just at home. Alright guys, thank you so much for taking the time for watching this. I hope this is interesting. This is really one of my favorite songs and honestly, everything Carl Jobim wrote is pretty much beautiful. You can also check Jao Gilberto sings all his music just incredibly. He's an amazing guitar player and singer that has a really interesting and intricate relationship between his comping and the melody, the way he articulates the melody. I learned a lot from Jao Gilberto as well. So, till next time, peace out. I'll see you soon. Peace. Peace out. I already said it. Alright, just peace.